hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your amd vega 8 graphics or amd integrated graphics for gaming on any pc this guide will be covering all of the best pc and amd graphics card settings so make sure to stick around the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Okay, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC. Once you're over here, come down to personalization, head over to colors and then you have to disable transparency effects. Transparency effects make your windows and surfaces appear translucent and disabling that will help you to get rid of unwanted animations. After that, head over to gaming and game bar. Here you have to turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, you don't want it running in the background and I would highly recommend you guys to disable that. Head back to gaming, then head over to game mode and this one you have to turn it on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background. Then you will find graphic settings over here, open it up and you will find optimizations for windowed games, simply turn it on. After that, head over to Windows Update and make sure that your Windows is up to date. If you are missing any updates, high chances are that the next steps will not work for you. Always make sure that your Windows is on the latest version. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to Hone.gg which helps you optimize your PC in one single click. You can come to the link in the description below and download Hone for absolutely free. Once you've installed and opened it up, you guys will see a very simple interface like this and I would highly recommend you guys to click on Backups and create your first backup over here. Once you're done with the backup, head over to optimizations and then you'll find a basic general advanced optimization here for quick optimizations i'd recommend you guys to enable io operations enable home gaming mode disable xbox optimize drives optimize memory management disable all telemetries on your pc that includes your browser any of software which might be shown over here like chrome telemetry i recommend you guys to turn on general windows optimizations and windows timer resolution Hone also has a ton of boost ups, which includes junk cleaner, optimize and defrag drives, clean thumbnail cache, clean discord cache, scan and drive fix errors and system errors. You can run them in one single click and it will help you to optimize your PC. Hone also has a dedicated games section where you can find the games that you have installed on your PC. Simply select your game and then you'll find the best settings over here. So if you select power mode over here, it includes all of the best settings which will be applied in one single click to help you optimize that game. It helps you to boost your CPU, your GPU and your RAM for better performance. Once again, I have left a free download link to Hone.gg in the description below. So make sure you guys go and check it out. Step number two is downloading the AMD software. This software helps you to update your GPU drivers and also help you to set it up correctly. Download it for free from the link in the description below. Once you've installed it, right click on any empty area of your desktop and then you have to open up the AMD software. Over here, under the drivers and software section, make sure that you have installed the latest drivers. If you have not already, click on the update button which should be shown over here. If you're downloading this software for the first time, most likely you will be installing the latest version of your GPU drivers. All right, now let's move to the settings. Head over to the gaming section and then click on graphics over here. You will find the global gaming experience and I would recommend you guys to set this thing to performance. Then you'll have AMD super resolution. You can disable or enable these features. It's really up to you. I have kept it on and for the sharpen effect, I have set this into 75. For the Radeon anti-lag, simply enable this one. That is all the settings that you get right over here. But if you click on the advanced view, you will see a lot of other options. Now you have Radeon boost, you have to keep it turned off. Radeon chill, simply disable this as well. For the Radeon image sharpening, turn it off over here as well. For the wait for vertical refresh, you can keep it always off. Frame rate, target control, disable this. Anti-aliasing, you can use application settings and the anti-aliasing method Third, should be set to adaptive multi-sampling. Morphological anti-aliasing should be turned off. Anisotropic filtering, you can turn it on and set the filtering level to 2x. For the filter quality, you have to keep it performance and surface format optimization should be turned on. For tessellation mode, you can use AMD optimized and OpenGL triple buffering, simply turn it off. After all of that is done, I would recommend you guys to perform a 
clean reset of your shader cache. Click on OK and this will clean up all of the shader cache in one click. Shader cache are nothing but the game generated files that is utilized while you're playing the games. Corrupted shader cache are a leading cause of FPS issues in the games. So it's always recommended to clean your shader cache every now and then. Once all of that is done, head over to the performance tab and then click on settings. And over here, click on tuning. You'll find memory optimizer. Simply select gaming over here and then click on proceed. After that, you have to click on the settings gear over here and then you have to click on display. Now for the AMD FreeSync, if your PC supports it, you can turn it on. Otherwise, I would recommend you guys to keep it off. For GPU scaling, you can enable that. Scaling mode should be preserve aspect ratio. For the HDMI scaling, go with zero and color depth, go with highest available for your monitor. This will help you to boost your blacks. Then you have your pixel format. I would recommend you guys to go with RGB, which is full RGB over here. Full RGB over here is recommended because it is the best pixel format available. Make sure you apply these settings for both of your displays. Now for the custom colors, I would not recommend you guys to turn it on. Under the overrides, you'll find HDCP support. You can disable that. Simply click on proceed and that should be it. Now, HDCP will not actually help you to optimize your FPS, but it helps you to reduce a little bit of input latency that might be caused by this setting enabled once again it has no realistic effects but i'd recommend you guys to keep it off then head over to audio and video and under the video profile simply select enhanced once you have selected that head over to preferences now in-game overlay should be turned off web browser should be turned off advertisements toast notifications and tutorials all three of them turned off then you have animations and effects turn it off over here as well once that is done you guys have correctly set up your amd software. Next step is optimizing your AMD graphics card in a more detailed way. Download the AMD Vega optimization pack. I have left a free download link to it in the description below. Once you open it up, you will find in five folders over here. The first one is CMD latency tweaks in which I have left BCD tweaks, disable memory compression and disable process mitigation. This will help you to get rid of unwanted input latency unwanted RAM utilization and unwanted CPU utilization in the background. Although these settings have no real effects on your GPU, it will help you to optimize the performance in game. Double click and apply all three of them. And if you guys are wondering what are the changes that they're doing on your PC, edit them in notepad and see for yourself. This will run a bunch of commands on your PC. All of them are automatically done in just one click. Second one is a specially designed AMD Vega GPU optimization folder in which I have left this optimization registry, which is all in one registry for you guys. If you edit it in notepad, it has a detailed version of all of the settings that it is going to perform on your PC. All of these settings over here will help you optimize your graphics card for maximum performance. And once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can use the revert registry folder to turn it back off. Third folder is the AMD driver optimization in in which I have left hardware optimization for your PC. This includes AMD shader cache optimization, improved frame pacing, reduce driver level latency, AMD DX optimization, open GL performance, and PCIe memory handling along with texture and cache stability. All of them will help you to optimize your graphics driver without harming or overheating it. Fourth folder here is clean temporary files in which I have left local temporary files. You can double click on that, control A to select all files and then shift delete these files these are nothing but temporary files running in the background which are consuming your useful system resources you can skip some of them because they might be in use so they won't be deleted then head over to the second folder click on continue do the same thing over here Control a shift delete and get it deleted last folder here is programs in which i have left msi mode utility 3.0 right click and then run it as administrator this simple program helps you to optimize the performance of your graphics card over here you have to find your gpu in the list select the msi button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high this will allow your graphics card to handle interrupts on a higher priority helping you to optimize its performance second is pro pc optimizer which is a one click optimizer for your pc it's completely optional but if you guys want to optimize your pc for gaming it includes all of the best cpu ram gpu and other optimization you can run it as administrator press enter and enter once again this will create a restore point automatically for you in the background and once it is done press enter again and this will apply all of the best settings for your pc 
Once again, this will also help you to add a new power plan onto your PC. And once you're done applying all of these settings, simply close it. Now you guys have to restart your PC once and then you can drop into the game to check your performance. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. You're very close to 250,000 subscribers and your sub would definitely be appreciated. I will see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.